Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This video tutorial is a follow-up to the Laravel UJS image upload with file pond tutorial. In this video tutorial we will elaborate further on the image upload topic and create a widget for the multiple image upload. Before following this tutorial please read the description below. Ok, let's get into it. Before we get to the actual multiple image upload let's fix a bug that remains from the previous video. So if we upload an image and hit update button, the image goes to the folder on the server, the books folder. And now if we hit the X button here, it should remove the file from the folder, but the file remains in the folder. By the way, you can skip this part and move right on to the multiple upload. OK. So to fix this, we need to make a few changes in the code here. Uh, the idea behind this fix is that we update the image field of the book after we process the file. So here in the process image method, we will add the book and then we check if the book has an image and the request does not then we should delete the image file of course if it exists in the given path and only then we should update the image field of the book Okay, this should do it. Uh, let me delete the image first. Okay. Now let's test it. Upload an image. Okay, there it is. And now let's remove it. Okay, the image is gone, the bug is fixed. As I said, if you want to skip this part, you can read the description to the video to see how. Okay, so let's move on to the multiple image upload. So first thing we need to do, we need to change the value of this property here. Make it true. And let's see what happens. So now we should be able to upload multiple images. One and two. So the uploaded files should now be in the temporary storage folder, which is storage app upload books. There they are. And if we delete them one by one, they should be deleted from there. But you see, one file was deleted and the other one was not. And the reason for that is this revert function here. We need to change it a bit. But first we need to change the load function and return the unique file ID. So let it be the name of the file. And in the revert function, we can now have the actual name of the file we are reverting. OK. Now, before testing it, let's delete that leftover file and let's try uploading a few files again. Let's upload a few. Okay, you can see that in the folder. Now, let's revert them one by one. had two requests here and the files are gone. Okay, so now let's move on and change the logic of our form field because now it should take multiple files instead of one. Okay, so I will introduce two new methods here. Add form image and remove form image. And now let me implement these methods.
So you can guess what these methods are doing from their names. And basically the code is as simple as deleting or adding a new item to an array. And then joining that array into a string. As you see, I'm using the vertical line here as my delimiter. Basically, all my uploaded files will be kept in the same field in the database, only they will be separated with that delimiter. Okay, so the remove method is pretty much the same, only instead of adding the value, we will remove it. And please note that the remove method is not implemented in, in native JavaScript, so we will have to add it to the prototype. You can find the link to this code snippet in the description to the video. And one last thing, because I want to see how these methods are working, so I will log to the console the, the value of the form field. So now I've got two images here, now I've got one, and now it's empty. Okay. Now we need to make a couple of changes in the controller in order to accommodate the multiple image upload there. So first we need to pass the book object in the process image method and we also need to update the image field of the book object only after we process the images. And we already implemented it in the update action and now let's change the process image method. So first let's convert the images string parameter into array. And then we're going to loop through the images. And then we see if the book doesn't have the image then we want to copy that image. And then we want to find all the images that the book has, which are missing in the request. And then we want to delete such images. And only then do we want to update the book. Okay, now let's go to the book model and uh, yeah, let's fix this little thing here. And now let's go to the book model and implement these two methods there. Um, so the has image method will be very simple, like this. And the find missing images method will be a bit more complex. Let's add some type hinting. So it will return an array. Okay. So let's convert the string to array again here. Let's look for this array and check if each and every image is present in the array from the request and if not then add it to the missing images. Okay and one last thing here is I actually want to display multiple images instead of a, instead of the single image in the books list. So let's just create a loop here and let's break the string of images into array using the same separator. Okay, this should do it. So now we should be able to upload images and see them in the books list. Let's test it. Okay, there they are. Now let's display the uploaded images in the edit form.
So let's open the form.view and here we need to change this method a bit. So instead of displaying one image we will display a list of images. We need to create an array of images. We will be using the same separator and then we're going to loop through this array and display each image one by one simply by adding the image object to my files array. Okay, this should do it. Let's test it. Let's open the form. Okay, it works. Okay, let me add one more image. Okay, there it is. So let me try to delete an image now. Hit update. And all the images are gone. And perhaps the reason for that is when I'm deleting an image, I'm assigning an empty string to the whole form, uh, to the whole image property here. So let's change it. Let's use the method that we created. It's changed here. Hopefully this should do it. Let's upload a few images. Okay. And now let me delete one. Okay. This time none of the images has been deleted. And uh, let me just print the value of this variable in the console because I think I know what could be the problem. I just want to make sure. Okay, let's see what's in the console. And you see the leading forward slash seems to be the problem. So let's just remove the leading forward slash here. We'll use a regular expression for this. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, this time it's working. Now let's add a couple more images. And maybe let's delete the one that existed before. And now let's hit update. Okay, it's working. Right. Okay, so we've got two images here which means that we've got two images in the file storage and I'm wondering what happens if I delete the book. Hmm, the images are still there in the file storage which is not right. So let's go and change it. We already had a method for deleting one image for the book so now, now let's change it so it will delete multiple images. Okay, so we're making an array of the images, we're looping through that array and we are deleting every image in that array. Okay, so let's delete these two images before we, before we finally test it. Okay, let's upload a few images. Hit the update button. Let's check if the images are there. Yes, they are. And now let's delete the book. Okay, and the images are gone, which means it's working. Okay, so let's create a book as a final test. 
and um, yeah, let's add four images. Okay, let's hit save. Let's go to the last page. Uh, yeah, there it is. Well, let's delete a couple of images. Okay, let's leave this one. Update. And in the storage, we only should have now one image. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And look out for my next videos soon.